Before I go into today's horoscope, I want to give a big special thanks to John Edward. He has been such a big supporter of the Leo King channel and he did an awesome video on his show Evolve where he talked about how we met and talked about this channel. So it's pretty awesome to have this channel be featured by him. He has been such a great influence in my life and I want to thank John personally from the bottom of my heart. I also want to share with you his show Evolve, which is a weekly show going into all about spirituality, deeper meanings of life, and more importantly, bridging you with the evolution of your soul. To find out more, I put the link down below. It's on his website, johnedward.net. And I want to thank you again, John, from the bottom of my heart. And thank you all so much for all of your support. Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for Tuesday, March 18th, 2014. I'm Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Over the weekend, I did my show Spiritual House Sessions, where I talk about the astrology, channel the tarot, and do it all into a house music mix. This is definitely a mix you are not going to want to miss. You can watch the video at the link below, or you can download the MP3 for your iPhone or Android at the link below as well. And today, we still got the moon in Libra, dealing with harmony and balance, and it's coming out of that cardinal cross. And yesterday, I'm sure you felt the intense energy. I mean, over here in Los Angeles, I woke up to an earthquake. And really, when you have the moon in all this energy, and really all these big planets that are in these tense T-square right now, there's pressure on the planet, spiritually, for all of us to either become a superhero or for us to fall. That's what I said yesterday, and I think that's still something to pay attention to. Are you ready to barge through in your life? Cardinal signs, which we have this T-square in, is all about forward movement into the seasons. In your life, the same way that we move from winter into spring, the same way that we move from fall into winter, that momentum, that strength, that energy, that change, in life, are you ready to step into that same change in your life? And today, we focus on action. Not only that, we're going to focus on relationships and how to manifest in our value systems. Let's talk about action first. The moon in Libra is going to hump over Mars. So if you look up tonight in the sky, you will see the moon, especially if you go up, I don't know, 9 o'clock at night, you will see the moon and Mars hanging out. That little red planet is Mars. And that's the planet of masculinity, action, and strength. And it's going retrograde, meaning backwards in our view from Earth. And the moon's going to hump over this for the first time. And this retrograde process, which started on March 1st and goes all the way until May 17th, 18th, is really important for us to look at the new actions to take in our life that will bring us to harmony, that will bring us into a better balance. This is interesting because it's also dealing with relationships. And today, the planet Venus is in a perfect sextile to the planet Uranus, dealing with unpredictability, excitement, the big epiphanies, the ahas. This could be a day where, and especially I think the last 24 hours into the next 48 hours as Venus is in the zone, really powerful and exciting people coming into your life, big understandings now of maybe getting it in certain relationships. But whenever you see this energy, this can be like, holy cow, this could be really powerful partnerships being aligned now, big understandings of, wow, these are the kind of relationships I need in my life to feel connected. Remember, Aquarius, where Venus is, is the sign of electricity. It's the sign of connections, about finding people with the similar kind of spark in life. And I think that when it comes into this nice sextile with Uranus and Aries, which is dealing with the identification of self, this could be where we find people in our lives go, oh my God, they're just on point with me. They go exactly with my energy. This is exactly the kind of person I need in my life, whether it's friend, lover, business partner. This is where I guarantee you to look in your life. There can be some really exciting, finally, ahas. Maybe that person's been in your life, been around in your circle, been somewhere close to you, and you're like, oh my gosh, 
It's all right here. So this is a very powerful day to focus on whether you're ready to take action and engage, whatever that means in your life, whether you're ready to engage in the correct identification of self, letting go of the old rules maybe you've set yourself into, or I call it concrete. Are you ready to break the concrete that's been paralyzing you from maybe getting to the correct identification of self or to the correct destination? I think it's important for us to understand the destination and set that in stone and where we're going, but more importantly, we got to be able to have the courage to get there, to wear the right gear to get there too. Remember, Aries is ruled by the ram and warrior and so forth. And that's also the gear, right? Our shield. And I think that we need to have the right gear on to go where we need to go. And on top of that, comfort, right? We've been talking about these emotions. And these emotions with this moon in Libra, especially I think the moon is so important to highlight when we have the planet Jupiter and Cancer like it's been here for the last eight months is to make sure that we look at our emotions when it comes to connection. You know, we're only going to be, I think, emotionally comfortable if we find that peace again, if we find that harmony. It can feel very disrupted when the universe is forcing us to make moves in our life and go into roads that might fe feel very confusing because the logical energy of how to get there might not make sense. We're finishing up the sun in Pisces, which is about trusting your guides, trusting your angels, trusting spirit, trusting the signs. And although logically it might not all make sense, it is there for you to give you the truth. And I think that sometimes we could be pushing ourselves into a foggy boat out into an ocean where you have nowhere or no clue where it's gonna go. But what you do know is that the sails are picking up to pull you in a direction and to trust that they're going in the right direction. And I think that over these last 24 to 48 hours that we're gonna be in here with has been all about showing you what kind of partnerships are the right ones to spark you with. To also look at your own self, that the skill sets that you have are ready to manifest and what tools in your bag can you use and what can you spark up? Maybe try a tool in your bag you've never used before. And it's about stepping over fears. This Cardinal Cross is about stepping over fears. You know, this is a new age coming, a new dawning of a new age, of new light, of new positivity. And we've got to break through the concrete of the negativity, break through the concrete of the old. Subconsciously, we have to break through this stuff in our own selves. And yes, this is the time of Lent in the Bible. This is the time of, in, in many other cultures, where we need to release and we need to let go of our subconscious energies and get prepared here because we are just days away from the sun coming into Aries and the new beginning starting. And so there's a lot of excitement that I think builds today of whether or not you have the strength to go or you're still waiting on the fence. Sometimes it's as little as just reaching out, speaking to somebody, taking action in your life in the smallest way that gets things moving, get things moving again. With Libra, it's actually very simple. It's just about finally taking action. Once you do, everything works out. You know, whenever a Libra gets into trouble, it's usually because they're not taking an action. It's not because they did something wrong. It's because they're trying to maybe stay in the energy that's bad and they need to just decide and make a decision and move out of that energy. It's usually that they're not trying to stay there. Usually is they just are maybe, it's hard for them to weigh all these options out. What should I do, you know? In our lives, it's like, stop maybe saying, what should you do? and just step over your fears, step into it, and tonight, go look up at the stars, go look at that beautiful planet of Mars in red with the moon there, and think about, you know what, all this energy that we've been going through. I know I have so much to say, I have one more thing to say, and then I swear I'm gonna go. Mercury came into Pisces yesterday, and so, especially overnight and everything, this is, this is our intellect, our minds having to listen to the signs again. Intellectually, the calculators are off, and there are signs all over the place. Don't go with what seems logical, if time frames are right or whatever, if it seems divine, if it seems perfect, especially with this Venus energy, and especially with this Mars energy, dealing with our masculine side, our feminine side, our manifesting, taking actions, relationships, just go with what the signs are. The signs might be so overwhelming that you know exactly which action to take. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading. Thank you so much for all of your support, and I will see you tomorrow.